The long evolution of the Earth, then, is distinguished by a relatively steady evolution superimposed on which are rapid, sometimes overwhelming changes, whether in the evolution of life or mountain building or even disturbances in the core itself. Many geologists over the years have voiced the suspicion that these changes have a galactic periodicity and have speculated that somehow the galaxy is affecting the affairs of Earth. What was lacking in all these speculations was a mechanism for inducing the galactic periodicity cities, and it was not until the late 1970s with the discovery of the molecular cloud and Apollo asteroid systems that the mechanism was discovered. There are two main causative links in the chain connecting the galaxy and the Earth. The first of these is the ebb and flow of the galactic tide, which we have seen is reflected in the ebb and flow of comets into the inner planetary system. The second link is the existence of giant comets. Rare though they are, it is the giant comets which contain the bulk of the mass which enters the planetary system, and it is their disintegration products which interact most strongly and directly with the Earth. 